Hey, what is it, everybody? It is no one shall come right back to you with another Star Trek flick in my video. Today, we have Arc 4 that just launched. You guys saw my video of talking about Sarka Hot Vegas, and we're actually going to be able to build today and look into it, and then look into the current events that we have, the event store, which I'm glad they finally brought that back. It is one of the most exciting things I'm happy to see, but let's get into building the sarcophagus, because I got it, and we can see how big it is. It's in the store. Actually, let's stop here first. Let's stop. So we go to the event store. I already bought my basic battle pass. So you have the Build Sarcophagus, Terran Imperial Credit Slush Fund. And those are the two right there. And then you have Discovery Officer Ultra Pack. Gives you 1500, so it gives you a chance of that. And you have all these little packs on it. So let's, and then you have the Binary Points. Like, eh. So we can look at it. The ship is 100 bucks for 27 blueprints. So if we did the math, yeah. There's your hard proof. This yeah but anyways let's get into the build of the ship so let it let's go down to battleships da, 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 da. here's the battleships here is this big puppy as you see my big head's in the way and you guys have the commons like we discussed so let's take a build it'll take six days to build it oh my god it's costing me 100 latinum let's hit the build button get the help button i ain't gonna wait for the helps never do so let's do a speed on the building though i'm wasting my speed i don't want to do it but I do it for you guys for the video. Because if not, you guys be sitting for six days trying to watch this. It'll be one long video. Alright, let's do the build. So boom. Let's get the sucker out of the dock. This thing is so huge. It's huge. It is huge. When it's coming out of the dock, it doesn't even fill it fills the frame. It is one big ship. One big Bertha. One slow Bertha. As you guys saw the impulse speed on it is not the fastest thing in the world. But it is there. Here is the ship in all its glory, all its beauty. And we just saw right through it. Sarcophagus, epic ship, G3, G4 hybrid. But I want to look at, boom, I did the build. Let's see what that, what did that give me? Oh, so let me go through those quickly. Boom, boom, boom. I want to go to the refinery. I'll look at something. Territory, nothing new there. Let's go look here quick. Go down the pipe. There's a new pack for the sarcophagus build one. It is nothing that special. Let's go down to the end, the territory one. They said you're able to, there you go. The fortified Bacchanite. So the Bacchanite is what helps you repair the ship. So if it gets blown up right now, it'd be sitting in a dock. Just putting it out there. You gotta get that Bacchanite up. So let's build the ship. Or let's grab the ship out of the dock. See, for me, it starts at 980 out of the dock, but it's going to be a little different. So you see the ability close quarters. Let's see what the upgrades start to look like. So comments, comments, comments. Let me pull out the dock. I want to look how, I want to see how big it is at first. So it is a big ship comparing it next to the jogger. It is a huge ship that moves slowly. Let's bring it back into base. It is back in. Boom. Now let's do the, the initial upgrades. So, as you see, it's basic stuff, uh, ore and crystal and commons at first. Same thing. Still the same. Man, we're going over some of these logs in from the Elkar stuff. Hopefully I can get to tier 3, tier 4, hopefully, give or take, for you guys. So we can see exactly of the black medallion, black whatever you want to call it, memorial thing. So here we go, taking a tier three, 411 uh, latinum to get it up there. Boom, it is up to tier three or two right now. The ability is going to be the same until I start upgrading it. We'll wait toward the end on that one. As you see, more commons, more uncommons, more uncommons. It's starting to look costly, but it's hopefully going to be a good ship for territory capture. See right here. Let's stop there. So tier two, to take it to tier three, as you see right here, requires the uncommon black memorial, uh, black fleet memorial. You should upgrade the sarcophagus acquired through the territory capture store while having the sarcophagus uh, material. And if you ask how to get that, let me, before we do the upgrade, let's go over here. Let's go to my top territory. It's gonna be in a list or thaws. Look at the services that we activated. As you, uh, t -t 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 here we go. So it grants you the ability of materials for the sarcophagus. That's the service that helps you out. It was in our tier one territory. Now let's go back. 
hit that upgrade, take it to tier 3. So, boom, tier 3. And we level it up. Boom. This is where it should start costing Bacchanite. So, see right here, Bacchanite. So, the initial upgrade for the first energy weapon is 640 Bacchanite. 640, 640, 640, 185. So the initial amount of Bacchanite that I got from the refinery, the refinery, the, um, let me go back. Well, one thing before we go into this that we got from the territory store, which is going to be right here. Some of you guys have got confused territories and this is where I got my initial Bacchanite. It's every, what, 24 hours. You can do the Duranium Forge. Uh, you can do the Bacchanite, which is this right here. Back and I, well, I keep saying back and I back and I repair geranium is the the thing to upgrade it. Sorry, I'm confusing it. As you see, my team has the phantom particle unlocked, thankfully. Whoa, 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 whoa. So there is a, a particle and an advanced one, so you can get 200 phantom particles a day if you have territories that have these abilities. That's that's pretty cool. Sorry, I didn't notice that at first, but let's get back to upgrading the the big boy here. So like I said, it is called the Duranium to upgrade. Boom. I'm not sure how far we're able to take this up today. I want to see how far we can go. As you see, above up there, I have plenty of trip. I bought a pack, I think, two weeks ago, and I've been kind of sitting on it in events. Boom. Now we're going to tier four. 1300 trip or, or platinum. <laughs> That's going to hurt. As you see, the ship's at 1.7 docked. Somehow the engine was showing upgraded already i was like wait a minute so now we're in a thousand territory thousand 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 five we're about thousand territory for these initial upgrades so let's keep this going maybe take it to tier five maybe maybe at that with what i have what i have saved up so from the initial pull ratio as you see from uh, maybe not tier five so 30 yeah, so not tier five. I'm gonna save it up there. So tier four from your initial pull from it, from the um, from the territory store where you do the initial pull. I think it was like 20k you got, and now we're at two million power. Now let's take it. So as you see, 8700. Let's say it's tier five. Boom, 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 and boom. Yeah, tier five is 91,000 or 91,000. Tier 10 is gonna be. 96 let's take it to tier or level 15 which is a 10,000 damage on a node one two three four five and at tier four it is 12 120k on a node extra damage it's gonna be some interesting crews if you can get this big bertha out there then yeah and remember this ship has a speed crew on it i don't really know why but there it is in space it is a big mamma jamma. Now, let me collect whatever prize this is. I think it's for all the upgrades I've done on the ship. Boom, boom. And then let's look at the vent store, which excites me because it's got a lot in it. So if you didn't have the botany bay, there you go. If you didn't have the discovery, there you go. What you have to use to get it is these Terran Imperial credits. So. As you saw, the two-year anniversary was awarding them once we get them in, which is going to be awesome. You can get, for 3,800, you get five blueprints of it, so it is obtainable. You have the mycelium, ADK. This one, I think I'm going to buy the cultivated one. I'm going to save up a little bit and get the cultivated 480K. That will last me quite a few jumps. I kind of hate doing that kind of stuff. Spore drive components, so every 5,900, you get 200 spore drive components, which isn't too shabby. So at 29K, you get about a thousand of them which will help you upgrade the ship you get the devour blueprints which is cool limit 60 so you're not going to be able to get the full unlock just half of it then we go down you get devour parts which is kind of cool 5500 for one 11k for 5500 and then we can go to vidar you can get your vidar if you want for 20 blueprints you can get 70k no actually the full unlock is at 76k which is obtainable and then we can go down to charge nano probes. This one has got me interested. 150k for 220k. That's almost an upgrade on my ship, on my current Vidar. Then there's the stale, like people are fighting for. 
And then we have the normal ships. If you see right here, it says limit of each one. So these you guys can actually get your better ships. You have Lieutenant Saru right here, which is kind of cool. One blueprint for yada, yada, yada. And then you have all the officers. The one I'm probably going to be aiming for is Ash, which Ash is going to be 2,000 for one or for 50, it's 100K, which isn't too shabby. Uh, uh, Stamets is a good one to honestly have because he lowers the cost of for summoning, which is kind of cool. There's Burnham, there's Saru. The one I really want to get is going to be right here. So at 10, uh, 10 is 68K for her. So yeah, she's going to be a little bit, but she's going to be worth it. To get her leveled up so we have all my the rares i have my g4 uncommons g4 rares g4 epics i still don't even know what those are for then i got my dilithium which honestly 18k for 20 million <laughs> i'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about that steel 50 for eh, let's see but a, oh, that's kind of bad actually for 40. that's not bad at all uh tritanium there's some tritanium there for you guys i know it's good different for levels then we have independent credits, which 500 is for 18k. It's not bad because only limit is 10, which just kind of sucks. But here's one that's kind of cool. If you want to get specific the recruits, you get if you have 57k in these uh, Terran credits, you can get 500 discovery recruit tokens and then possibly get a full unlock for all we know. But that's for all we know. The ultras, you got mirror mirror stuff. You got old missions that you could go back to your battle. I G4 battleship stuff for me, ship experience, and then all the avatars that you could have possibly missed. So. The Black Alert is 150k, which I don't really see why you would get an Avatar as you go down the list. That's all of them there. Now let's go look into the events. We'll look into the battle pass. We'll look at the battle pass. So as you go down the list, if you bought the the 20 or the elite part of the battle pass, you get 10. Let's see what's see we get 10, 14, 31. 31 total? Nope. 41 total blueprints. And then for the big mamma gemma sarcophagus right here. And then you go into this one. I don't know if a lot of you guys have it, but this mission right here. Let's see what it is. Hostiles. Yeah, so Lowe's, Lobers can do this. And you get another seven. So what is that? 48 total almost. 48 total. So it's going to, if they keep doing something like this, it might be actually obtainable in the month to next following month. So it's not going to be totally out of the question. If you just want to spend the 20 bucks, then you're going to be... A fair amount there until you get the full unlock which ain't too horrible and anyone 39 and plus know the c pair bellum event i'm kind of disappointed because there's no latinum it used to have a lot of latinum in there like 30 40k for me it gives us the mirror tokens or the terran tokens which i'm not going to complain about because terran tokens are going to do something for me and then we have the terran invasion leaderboard we have uh corner animal which is going to be the storylines going down the storylines we saw that event going. We have the first event to be a separate zone, which is a no-brainer. And then we got our new officers. So if we go down to the officers, scroll down to the very, very bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Da, da, da. So we have Emperor Giorgio, which I covered, and uh, Captain Tilly, which I covered. I'm not going to read or butcher you those sentences because you guys know Misa can't read so well out loud. But there they are, which is kind of cool. We have a whole thing. And if everyone was wondering, because we called her Captain Killy, if you go through this, Da, 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 da. Did they change it? Yeah, Captain Killy right here. So I think that's all the information that I need to cover through the battle pass right now. The initial reaction for the Scrophagus is kind of yeah, and it's gonna be like that. The community is gonna be outraged, but as you see, you can get about 49 prints in the first month as long as you get the elite battle pass for 20 bucks, and then maybe on the following month you'll get the rest, or maybe I have better events to stir you up to get more. Because as you saw, there are events to give you those blueprints for the ship. I'll do a ship review down the line when a territory capture comes up. I gotta, gotta mine some isogen so I can get to be able to repair the ship because repair looks like it's hard. We have plenty of new services in it, as you guys see. I'll here use an example. i use my uh, Warren Brelin. And one of them is gonna be Metreon Particles, which is that top tier that's farther into the research tree. And then if I go up here, to Deportis, we have improved G3 isogen refining, which I love. Let me go over that and advanced phantom so that I can get 200 in a day. And the improved thing about the refinery for those ones through these territories is it gives you the extra option. 
right here. You get two options to refine. Look at one is or two two options is 77k, which gives you about what 5,500 emulsion per pull or X for triple the amount if you want to mine all day. As you can see, it has increased. It has gotten better. 36k for about 8,300 emulsion. It's bad at all. As long as you can get these services running, they do help you in the long run. Alright guys, that was the video. We covered the ship, the events, and all the little bits and bobs in this event. If you guys have any comments, go comment them below. Let's see what you guys say. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Remember to hit that like, that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember there is a Discord link down below. If you click that Discord link in the same more option, you can join my Discord and become awesome. And below that is a donation link. If you like my channel, you want to help support it, you click that button and hit the donate. And below that is the join button. If you want to help the channel on a monthly to monthly basis, you enjoy my content. If you get any information from me that you enjoy and you want to help out or you want to just help the channel out, you have an ad blocker on, there is a join button. Click that down below. It's two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. All right, guys, it is the one show signing off. Peace. Have a great day.